Hey, what's going on guys? So many people have been asking me about my computer setup. What are like the different programs I'm using? What do I think about Macs and stuff? So I thought while I'm at it, I could make just a quick video to go over the setup of my computer and what I'm actually using. Um, whatever I say here, I don't want this to sound opinionated or not. Everyone's setup is going to be different. This is just the setup that I used at the time. It's not worse. It's not better or than anyone else's and you'll definitely have a setup that works for you all right so let's just go through mine real quick so I use uh, MacBook Pro I think everyone knows what these physically look like um, when I was in high school and middle school I used to use PCs Windows a lot because I used to be huge on games I played a lot of games so I would game and kind of develop on PCs uh, in college and work I used Linux a lot so we use a lot of different distributions in college we use Ubuntu and then at work I use Scent and Fedora um, so different styles of Linux and we had like a lot of boxes just with Fedora installed that we used at work but now for personal stuff and for development stuff uh, I use a Mac so you know that's just currently what I use and I like it it works it doesn't crash too much but overall it's pretty good so um, Inside this Mac, there's nothing really interesting going on. The only thing that I can kind of mention is that I keep all my code in this workspace directory. So um, I just try to keep all my repositories, anything related to code and development in a single repository or a single directory, sorry, which is separate from my other stuff. So I just have this specific directory purely for coding projects. Um, now that I mention it, it's not even that interesting, but it's just kind of how I organize some of this stuff. So, um, yeah, that's that. Um, a lot of people have also asked me, like, what do I have on my dock and what do I have installed? And um, I didn't realize people would be interested in that, but I can just quickly run through every single program on this dock and on my computer. So, let's just Finder is Finder, it's simple. Um, terminal is a terminal, we have it open. Sublime Text is my code IDE that I'm currently using. Uh, I think it's pretty good. It has a lot of um, plugins and it's really helpful. It does cost money to get um, a licensed version of this, but you know, pay developers for their work. It's all good. Um, Xcode is if you want to develop on the iOS platform, you need Xcode. This is an Apple thing. You have to use this thing to develop iOS applications. Um, Postico is a interface for Postgres, the database. Uh, I might have shown this off at one time or another, but this is just an interface into various databases that you might have on your system. All right. IntelliJ is an IDE, particularly catered towards Java. I haven't used that in a while. Xscope. This was a scoping tool back when I, uh, it doesn't even open, I haven't used this in a while, but this would help in UI or front-end work to measure pixels. Chrome is Chrome, Safari is Safari. This is Sketch, which is a design and prototyping tool. Um, notes, reminders, Apple stuff. Slack is messaging. FaceTime, messages, Spotify, calculator, system preferences. I always like to keep the activity monitor open. I'm sure many of you guys do as well. Always keep this open to see you know, who's using a lot of memory, who's using a lot of CPU. Um, Let's see, activity monitor, preview, Mac Vim. I've always used Vim for stuff. Um, MOU. MOU is like a convenient little tool that you can kind of, for markup. So if you want to op open a markup in whatever way, you can just actually type the markup on the left and just see it render on the right. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. I've been using this thing for a while just to make sure whatever you're typing in a readme file looks all right. So QuickTime player, text edit, this is all really basic stuff. Um, uh, coming over here, one password, this is a password management tool for anyone that like keeps track of many different passwords all the time. This is just a password managing tool. There's another one called Dashlane. I just happen to use uh, one password. Um, screen Hero is a screen here screen sharing application you can use with your friends is actually this company was acquired by slack so i'm pretty sure slack in the future is going to re-release this as one of their own products but i don't know if you can get screen hero anymore um, 
This is a macro application for some custom macros that I have, like keyboard shortcuts. This is a window management tool, better snap. This is Flux. Flux uh, just changes the color of my monitor when it gets really late. So, so I guess they say your monitor shouldn't be too bright when it's late at night because it just messes with your eyeballs. So Flux just makes my monitor like orange. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, it's all basic stuff. Um, let's check this out. I don't know if there's anything here that's worth mentioning. Um, let me just sift through it. Uh, gaming. Yeah, not sure if this is helpful. I'm literally just running through random stuff on my computer to see if it's... Oh, Wireshark is good for any developers out there. I'm sure if you want to watch any network traffic, you can use Wireshark. Um, just take a look at that. This is a really old program, but you know, if you want to see any network traffic of any kind, this is probably the, the standard of what you might use. Um, uh, none of these are particularly worth mentioning. Yeah. All right, um, well, super random video. I don't even know if this was helpful. I just wanted to like kind of give a quick overview of random things on my computer because I know a few people have asked, so it doesn't hurt to just make a quick video on it. Um, if I'm using anything that is unfamiliar to you or you're just cu curious more about the setup that I have, feel free to ask. But again, everyone's setup is going to be very different. and your setup is not going to be the same as another person's setup. Um, it doesn't even make sense to get too opinionated on what setup is better because in the end it's so personal so it really doesn't matter. But yeah, this is just mine and that's it. Alright guys, so catch you later.